everyone, this is uh, Louis Vignola from Smart Suspensions. Thanks again for watching our previous video about the Broncho Sky LF unit. It was very fun and nice to, to do it. Uh, we hope we, uh, you enjoyed it and uh, keep posting or sending us comments. If you have any questions, we'll be pleased to answer them. Today, we take a look at the Kenworth T880 in a six axles configuration with a twin steer at the front and a drive steer axle for the first axle and a rear steer axle totally at the end. This unit will be equipped with a PHX 180 uh, aerial platform from Time Manufacturing. So for this six axles configuration, the first thing we do is that we took off the first axle to install our AMS 40T2 twin steer suspension. We also added an easy track axle on the first axle equipped with air disc brakes. Thus, it, this made it a front drive steer axle. The whole thing is powered by an hydraulic engine within the wheels, which is also powered by a PTO and a pump. The Easy Track system requires an automatic transmission, which is the case on this one. It's an Allison 4500 RDS. On this unit, we have the Easy Track on the first axle, but it would also have been possible to install another one on the second axle, as well as on the sixth axle of, the, of this unit, because actually this one is a rear steer axle. This truck came from factory with a Tridem drive axle in the end. So these three axles over here were from factory and there are drive axles. To this, we added this axle equipped with our AMS 20A air ride suspension. And we connected this one with proportional valves in order to level the load in between this one and the three other drive axles equally. This axle is equipped with the ETS uh, electro hydraulic steering system, as well as the ABS an independent ABS brake system on this one. So the electro hydraulic steering system, as we saw it, is controlled by a sensor on the first axle. So the first steering axle sends a signal to this one and steers this axle accordingly in the opposite direction in order, in order to add for a better turning radius. The whole system is controlled by the sensors, but also by this little box over there, which is sort of the control unit of the ETS. The ETS is speed adaptive, meaning that it will steer to a maximum angle at low speed. The angle ratio is gradually reduced at intermediate speed, and the axle is locked straight when it is at high speed. Thus, it offers the better compromise in between maneuverability at low speed and stability at high speed. The ETS system has been designed to include a self-diagnosis mode as well as some fail-safe components, meaning that if the ETS detects that one of the key components of the, of the truck has a problem, it will transfer itself as a self-steer axle for better control for the driver. For this unit, we were also tasked to design a custom-made fenders to cover all three drive axles as well as the ETS. Finally, one of the key components of this venture was the tight collaboration in between smart suspensions, time manufacturing, as well as MHC Kenworth in order to order the, uh, the truck uh, with a minimum of uh, modifications needed for our conversion. Thanks again for watching. It's always a pleasure to show you what we can do here at Samarit Suspensions. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we'll be pleased to see you next time for another presentation of one of our products. Thanks again for watching and bye-bye.